once we've separated our PDF and our vector file or lines onto different reference drawings or stories, what we want to do now is to be able to understand how the stories need to work. So we had a, a story system which was fairly generic and we want to now adjust that to make it a little bit more tailored to how we want to work. So to change the stories we're going to right click story settings. Now the, these heights don't really matter at the moment we're going to go and change these later but in terms of the names that's what I'm going to adjust. So we have one here at the moment that's called basement and I'm going to change this to ref or reference because we want in this case I want to have two different stories of reference so Australian height data and reference generally would only have one but because I want to keep the PDF and the DWG I'm gonna have two then I want to have another one above this one so I'm gonna press insert above it's very important that I do this and not insert below because I want to make sure that I don't go into negatives but only have positive numbers I'm gonna call this one terrain now the point of terrain is that this is where I'm going to build my terrain mesh or my site or my earth. Again, I'm not going to worry about heights at the moment. I'm going to come back and change that later. This is only going to be a two-story house. So in terms of understanding the rest of the stories, I want ground and first, and then I can delete second, delete third, and that's how I want it to look. I could potentially add in another story above this if I wanted to have another reference story perhaps but for now again that's fine. So I'm going to press OK. It's saying are you sure you want to do this because you can't undo it. Yep I'm still happy to delete them. And back to ground floor and now we're back to where we started. Now the only thing you'll see that is a bit unique with what I've got is I've got this fill around this particular site. I'm going to delete that and we're going to redraw that. Now once you've chosen your site, again I'm going to choose this corner site. If we didn't have our trace reference on we wouldn't be able to see anything and we wouldn't be able to do anything. So what we're doing is choosing our reference story as trace reference, show as trace reference and this allows us to trace by clicking on the corners. I'm using a fill in this case to draw the edges. I could be using a polyline but to keep it real simple I'm just going to use a fill for now. Now the method that I had chosen was my rotated rectangle which isn't going to work so I need to change this to my polygonal method and redraw that just a little bit. What you can see here is that when I go to click on this edge it's not quite correct because this isn't supposed to be a straight line it's supposed to be an arc. Uh, I find it's easier to come back and fix that later rather than worrying about trying to get that right to begin with. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to draw a line. Finish that off. And then to adjust that, I'm going to click on this line. Left click, hold that down, change to my curve edge, and then bring that out until it matches up. So now we've adjusted this so we've got a fill which of course can have an outline. I'm going to choose this double dash to represent a nice boundary line. And I can turn this off and we can understand the shape of our lot. Now interestingly we're not going to keep it like this because if we measure this or look at this we see that the angle isn't flat it's not zero and ideally I want at least one of my boundaries to be at zero given this is the longest boundary it's probable and it's the side boundary if you like um, it's probable that I'm going to use this one to be straight and I'm going to offset my building based off this boundary now I could use this boundary or this boundary or this boundary but again because this is the longest this is probably the one that I'm going to do. In the next video, we'll look at how to rotate everything so this now becomes straight.